Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you the new webinar function. It is now possible to select between two different webinars. One is the live webinar and one is the pre-recorded webinar. So with a few clicks of a button you can now establish a webinar funnel as well as the dedicated workflow to send confirmation emails, SMS or even WhatsApp messages. To access the webinar feature click on sites on the left and you'll see webinars at the top then click plus new webinar. And here you see the pop-up, you can either create an on-demand webinar or a live webinar. Remember, on-demand means pre-recorded. So let's select that first. And then you need to fill out your webinar details. For example, this one, let's hit next. Then you can select the form. You will have to create a form first under sites and forms. That will then be your webinar registration form. For now, let's select this one, hit next. Then you select the file, the video, which you upload into the media storage. So let's click plus here. Then you would click upload right here. You would then select your video file. Once it's uploaded, you just double click the video, take some time to process it. Once it's done, it will pull the video into the funnel. Let's hit next, and then we can select a template or keep that blank. In this case, let's select this template here, hit create, and your entire webinar funnel has been created. So here you can see the webinar registration, here you can see the webinar confirmation, and here you can see the webinar broadcast. Now let's preview all those links. So this is the webinar registration page. I would make this a button because it's higher converting. Here you have nice copy. These are the three things people would learn. The speakers who will be presenting, some testimonials. Great. Then the confirmation pages. Thank you for registering. Here a hot tip. I would just place the video here directly. So just go back to the normal page builder. Click on edit and pull the video in there directly versus here in the third page the video will play, right? So to increase conversion, just remove that header here and the footer as well. And then just put the webinar, basically, because it's an on-demand webinar, it's a pre-recorded webinar. You would just put that on a thank you page. So that's the pre-recorded webinar. Now let's do the live webinar as well. Let's go back here, click new webinar, click on live, hit continue, do the same thing again. Now this is a live webinar. Choose the time zone whenever you're going live. Choose the date and the time, hit confirm, then click on next. Same thing here, select the form, next. And here you want to place your webinar link. This can be, for example, Zoom, your Zoom link, your static Zoom link. Then hit next, again, select a template, hit create, and the system will create your live webinar template funnel or the entire funnel just in a few seconds. Here we go. Same scenario here, the webinar registration, the confirmation, and the broadcast. Let's preview that. Okay, so this requires a little bit of formatting as well. I don't like these forms. Just put a button there and remove the header and the footers as well. And then thanks for registering. So this is the thank you page, right? Like either click here to watch the webinar immediately, right? Because it's a live webinar or just place an upsell. Like if you have some workbooks for $7, $17, just place that one-time offer right there so people can only buy it on that page. It just helps you to identify the freebie seekers from the buyers, okay? So once you've set up the funnels, the webinar funnels, you can click on automation, click on create new workflow, select the receipt, scroll down until you see the webinar registration confirmation reminders, hit select, and ta-da, here we go. Here is our entire workflow already done for you. So the trigger here is, hey, this person submitted our form, the form we chose in our funnel, right? Like, so you select that one here. You could also select a registration trigger link, meaning if you resend to Zoom link in an email, for example, then you want to tag your people and segment your list. Hey, who registered for the webinar? Then you want to set the start date, the start webinar event date, right? Then send a confirmation email, wait 24 hours, and then go on with your nurture sequence. Now, for my personal test, this is not enough emails, SMS, or WhatsApp messages. I recommend you to teach as much as possible, educate as much as possible about yourself, about the product you're selling, about your company in the content before you bring people on the webinar, because that helps you a lot easier to close the deals. Okay. And that's it already. This is how you can create two types of webinar, the on-demand pre-recorded webinar funnel or the live webinar funnel, including the workflow. I hope you like this new feature and I'll see you in the next video.